Okay, all right, it's Monday morning, and you know how we do it. Let's take a look at uh, some of updates or latest updates in tech world. Now, later this year, Apple will roll out a technology that will allow the company to detect and report known child sex, sexual abuse material to law enforcement in a way it says will preserve user privacy. Now, Apple told TechCrunch uh, that detection of child sexual abuse material is one of the several new features aimed at better protecting the children who use its services from online harm, including filters to block potentially sexually explicit photos sent and received through a child's iMessage account. Now, another feature will intervene when a user tries to search for CSAM, that's a child sexual abuse material, related terms through Siri and search. Now, most cloud services, Dropbox, Google, and Microsoft, to name a few, already scan user files for content that might violate their terms of service or be potentially illegal, like CSAM. Now, but Apple has long resisted scanning users' files in the cloud by giving users the option to encrypt their data before it ever reaches Apple's iCloud servers. All right, so the, the, that, the, that video was just, uh, you know, showing you how when you, how you um, uh, upload your pictures to iCloud and saying that there is going to be a way without in, um, invading on your privacy where this kind of materials can be checked and uh, filtered so uh, that we can get to check CSAM uh, issues. All right. Now, moving on, now, this is one that Mazuno says he wants to definitely learn from. It depends on the kind of TV you have at home. That will depend on this one, right? This is how to clean your TV. Let's take a look at this video. That video, of course, uh, is caught see, inside our tech. Um, like I said, it depends on the kind of TV. You understand? There's some kind of TVs that, hey, you don't get to clean that way, but hey, come on, that's a microfiber cloth. Now, that's your best option, not just a normal rag. Don't lubricate it. Use uh, something like a cleaning agent, like the one that was shown there, um, uh, just some piece of that without water. Be very careful. Don't let water get into somewhere that you don't want it to get into, okay? All right, so now, uh, moving on from that, now, this is uh, about Quora. Now, in May, Yahoo Answers shut down after helping the internet answer its most burning questions since 2005. But now, Quora, which began as a question and answer site, but expanded to incorporate blogging, is making its platform more appealing to creators. Quora says it's on track to be cash flow positive from ads alone, implying that the platform isn't currently in the black. But Quora says tapping into the creator economy and subscriptions as a way to turn a profit. Want to make a sharing knowledge more financially sustainable for creators. Quora CEO Adam D'Angelo wrote in a blog post. Now, even though many people are motivated and able to spend their time writing on Quora just to share their knowledge, many others could share much more with financial justification to do so. Quora's first new product is Quora Plus. Subscribers will pay a $5 uh, monthly fee or a $50 yearly fee to access content that any creator chooses to put behind the paywall. These are the same rates that Medium, which has no ads, charges for its membership program. Now, now if, you've, uh, if you've never been, uh, you know, if you've never come in contact with Quora, Quora is a very useful article. I remember I was talking to one of our producers, Halima. Uh, Quora would also send you notifications. Now, just on a Monday, I was somewhere, and then I just picked up a material, and they said, look, how to deal with depression? Who are the most susceptible to depression? And that was just an article from a health expert who wrote about that. So different people share knowledge on Quora. It's a very, very, very educative tool, something that you definitely need to put in an arsenal. If you need to go to the app also, hey, come on, that's a good one. So Quora is something I quite recommend. Now, the idea is that as a Quora creator, you can make money from the app. Now, that's quite something, hey? But then, like, as a learning tool, as an educative tool, which even if it's just its, um, you know, its meals and subscriptions, which they, give, which they give weekly, it's something that you definitely can learn from. And that's it on tech. Let's take a look at what's happening this week in history.